What's up guys? Welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry. Check out the new digs. Wow, look at this. It looks great. Uh, thanks to Harlequin for showing me the uh, different look pack, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, hope you guys like it. Um, we'll see how it goes. If not, I might um, just go back, go to a tweaked one that uses the Steam sprites and I think uses the PS2? PS3 sprites of this game. Alright guys, well the last stuff off we were in the middle of an epic game of tag apparently. Um, Satoko was it. We chicked her ass with a stupid question. She fell for it. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, it looks great, right? Alright. Here we go, Punchy just ran away. I stood at one of the corners of the school. I had clear, I had clear sight lines in two directions, and would probably have a good response time if any zombies started closing in. Good thinking for zombie apocalypse. For the time being, I caught my breath and focused on what I was trained to think of for the kids yesterday. By the way, guys, if you're wondering like why, if you guys did notice or not, I say I'm asking a little bit of the list. Because I got a, I have a cake so on my top. Ugh, guys, it's right on tip too. So forgive that. Um, anyway, now think calmly, punching me, Mara. If I was it, what would I do? Increasing my numbers would be the show. Be the shortcut to victory. Then going after the weakest player first is the obvious player to attack, meaning me. Fuck. There she is. Oh, check her out. She got like little dot anime dolls. I, I like this. Now then, where could Punchy San possibly be? I shan't let you escape. But of course. What would the best method? Check me. What would be the best method? Method. Check me down. Footprints or smell, maybe some type of trail. If I craftily hide my tracks, then there would be no trail for Satoko to follow. But that was no detective. I mean, I can't even figure out why they hit the Rashi Cry. Would I even be able to do that kind of thing in an amateur game like this? Tomita Okamaru? Have you seen uh, Punchy Song recently? What the heck? Do zombies hunt their prey by asking nicely where they went? Tomita Kun and Okamaru Okamura went to the location I was hiding. Damn them! After confirming she was headed in this direction, I headed my position. It wasn't easy, easy to hide myself with all of those little kids running around as they pleased. I was becoming even more obvious. Oh, it was becoming even more obvious that I was a dis that I was at a disadvantage from not being familiar with these surroundings. If that's how it's going to be, then to confront this intelligence gathering zombie and just kind of in a similar vein. I approached some girls to make ball. I'm sorry, but could you relay this message? Plus I told to hold you that our parents are thinking, please. Message, message. Oh, good voice. Message, message. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks, little girls. I stopped the girls as they turned to run off. Wait, don't go yet! Also, take this one to me and Sonozaki. Tell the teacher is calling me to the gate. <laughs> I'm quite the schemer, I do this one myself. If things went well, then Satoko and me would run into each other at the gate. Is that wise, punchy? Isn't Satoko like the best one around in a few games? Uh, I don't know. I probably should have chosen someone else. It put me at a disadvantage if more people were it, but this is me we're talking about. You should figure out a way to escape. Ah! Crafty, punchy, crafty. But that was just fine. As long as it bought me more time. <laughs> Dance for me, me and it's a top In the palm of my hand. What a game of tag. Having my fill of playing the con and I look for a place to hide. If you think about it logically, I'd only bought myself a scant amount of time. And why'd even come back to bite me? Yes, it will. Once it became apparent, I'd start spreading false information to messengers, I could end up being the recipient, recipient of one of those messages. Uh-oh. Uh, she's thinking too much again. Sotoko would probably ask the messengers to help her look, help her look for me. 
That would mean more zombies than participants in the game. Oh god. The virus that was brought about by mischief could cause an epidemic. All my classmates would transform into zombies and would only be searching for me. Oh, this tactic, this tactic might backfire horribly. While trembling at the thought of the impending dawn of the dead, I began searching for a safe house. I found a shed. This is where I just was. According to the I found a shed by the incinerator behind the school. After climbing up the roof, I held my breath. It wasn't a bad place to hold out. Not only did I have a good line of sight, but if necessary, I could jump off in three different directions to escape. You go, punch. It was getting rowdy out there. Logos are running around below the shed. Hey, about a sign isn't around. Is he over there? Nope. Where's Punchy sign, I wonder? His dad is at the front gate. Oh no! That was definitely a lie. The word gate, the same one I'd use, gave a hint of revenge. So mean was behind this. I'm still keeping one step ahead of the game. I felt bad for my underclassmen. I did have to search until the school bell. Hey, hey, do you know where Punchy sign is at? My mom told me that. His mom was telling me I feel sick. A message from Pirate Sign. It says the house got a fire. <laughs> he needs to come to the gate. Oh jeez. <laughs> the jumbo jet fell on top of the Mayfar residence. The police have come to question him. Anything goes now. They say he enjoys peeping into bathrooms. Huh? The two is going around every night stealing panties? What are they talking about? I hear he wears panties on head and smells like and stuff. No way I would do that. I heard the class was in and Ian was a victim too. What? Man. This is your doing, man. Calm down, Punchy. Mary Bahara. This is Mian's battle tactic to flush me out. Just hold on. If my underclassmen thought about it logically, they would know it's all nonsense. I'm the new kid. They don't know anything. These small kids don't think about things logically. No, they don't. To, the, to them, all those things are true. They say they all took it together while looking for me. Okay. <laughs> I win, Mian. It's my victory. I don't know why I'm running time. I don't know why I'm laughing so soon. I don't even know if anyone was caught yet. Wiping unrelenting tears away, I felt intoxicated by my own victory. Did you hear? I heard that the new chapter student, Pei Baisan, is a real perverted person. <laughs> the cost of beating me in had too high a price. Ah! Oh, someone asked below. That's Rina Mika chan. Rika-chan, you still okay? Oh, look at Rika. She's an adorable little girl. Aw, oh, Mia. And I mean, Mia's cute too. I'm getting by somehow. Ha, <sighs> ha. It seems Mia-chan is it as well. Mia? It could be. She become it because of my little strategy? This confirmed that Mia was behind her for this message more. Then, this wasn't good. We finally get from Mia-chan. Mr. Toka-chan, she's... Toko is searching around the pipes, so we should be safe here for a while. Upon hearing that, I breathe a sigh of relief. When we were slumped to the ground, breathing heavily, Riki Chan started creeping up on her. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Riki Chan doesn't normally make noise when she walks, but it's strange. It couldn't be. Whoa! Riki Chan? What is it? What is it? How? Don't worry. I've never seen Riki Chan smile so deeply before. Cute little smile, what are you talking about? Why are you coming closer? Why? Big Chan isn't a zombie, is she? Don't be scared. I'll be sure to eat you gen Oh no. <laughs> Why? Why you do that? N no way. Big Chan, no. Mio is pressed against the wall, and Big Chan lurched forward and four bombs out, just like a zombie. You could quake back, quick with her back pushed up against the wall. It was quite a surreal scene of horror. <laughs> like one of those zombie breakout videos you'd see. Oh, that's funny. Poor Rika. I'm poor Rina. At that moment, Rina's eyes met mine. Punchy Kun, save me! Zombie Rika chan turned 180 degrees. 180 degrees. Extra sound. Glared at me. Oh, shit. Found him. I see Punchy chan. Oh, hey, man. Look at you. You're. Let's just say toned down. Before. 
Me and popped up from behind the cinder block wall around the garbage dump, also seeing where I was. My position was only advan advantageous? Advantageous? Was when there was only one zombie. He was trying to. It's not as good, clearly. That's the point. He said he located the punch. He said, huh? See? I'm just so ready to do it. I made his little voice. Punch son? I could tell Satoko was rushing my way. It seemed that Rika chan had let Rina escape, and now she was bearing her fangs in my direction. Get out of there, man! Yeah. I'm gonna circle the shed, moaning curses. You guys are scary, too scary. One of Punchy Song's best Punchy Song. Punchy, I want you to become one of us. Someone please save me. I saw Rena. Oh, Rena, why? I saw Rena apologizing to me from across the schoolyard. An apology. Sorry. Leaving me for dead? Left for dead? Rina! I left off the roof. I left off the roof out of fear, except because I landed. Satoko. Oh, I thought you were kids. It's like it looked weird. Satoko and Rika jumped on top of me after straddling me, he tickled me all over my body. <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> so this means Rina is still left. There isn't much time until the bell. Damn you, Rina! How dare you! Leave me for dead! The <laughs> feelings of a zombie. I understand how eventual. How, I understand how eventual goes and lingering regrets felt. It's sad, so sad. The Punchy's one of us now. I felt like I'd been bitten by a vampire and was now one of their thralls. It was a strange feeling being welcomed over to the side that had pursued me. Zombie tag is quite profound, I must say. There's no time to postulate. I must capture me now. The principal's walking down the hall. We got a ring soon. To the bar arena, I had been turned to a team of vengeance and he's using any means necessary. Except I wasn't just a zombie. I was a mess of my life. Wow, I'm getting really into this. Pardon me. Using the same trick I t I, that I had tightened the noose from my own neck, I used my classmates to further my evil designs. I gathered up the lower grades from around the school grounds. Everyone listen, we is in big trouble. All of you, please look for Rena. It's a bigger problem than a jumbo. <laughs> it's a bigger problem than a jumbo jet crashing into your family's house. Oh yeah, it turned to that, hadn't it? Yeah, it was a match lobby trying to avoid the blame. Yeah, it's not even the same thing as jumbo jets. What fell in Rena's house was a space colony. Right. A space oh. Little kids, bless them. Space colony. Yeah, it's a really big disaster. Everything in 100, everything in a 100 kilometer radius was obliterated. And that's only the prelude to this tragic tale. This is the beginning. This is the, what? It's not a war for independence, not a pro propaganda party. It's a Xeon, a Zequel. Look at your dump at it. The eyes like saucers at the grand turn of events. What? What will happen? Will the Terran Federation lose? If things go like this, they will. Only one person can defeat the Red Covenant. The person is bringing a real glue. The Lord Great Seed all goat. I see I'm making fully understand the fact that Earth was lost without you. That's adorable. Now scatter, comrades. We must find Rena. My current comrades on lower grades let out an enthusiastic, enthusiastic cheer and dashed off in various directions around the school grounds. There was still one person who had a gun. But I thought, he, but I thought even the Terran Federation had impulse made food camps in the work of the Khan Empire. They are close. That's the white variety, that's the white variety of those comics. The reason they didn't work was because they didn't know the weak point. <laughs> this is just dumb from this dumb kind of face and what's happening. Of course, Rina knows the weak point all too well. The Hebrew side is amazing. He's satisfied with that he also runs on rush stop to look for Rina. It does seem like there was some promising up and comers amongst the youngsters. With a punchy son's well, with a punchy son's abilities, this old man was like better now. <laughs> didn't even feel like he was complimenting me, but whatever. Really though, how exceptional punchy son. This is quite promising. If we have this many, we can win. The 
this many villains. That's cute. I was thinking that Punchy would have been a better nominee for the initial zombie. <laughs> Yugi Chan's words stung a bit, but I let slide for her now. What's gonna happen? Not even Rina would be able to escape the entire class. As a result of Edgar's thorough search, Rina is finally coming back to the sports department show. Hello? You You're all scary. Punchy Kun too. So scary. It was probably it probably was scary being chased around by the entire student body. All the lower grades closing on Rina saying she's the only one who can save the world. What are you all saying? I can't control a mech. Rina, how could you leave me for dead? Are you ready to pay for it? I'm sorry that punchy kun, but I didn't have a choice. Do not resist. Let yourself be devoured. You guys gotta hurry! Wasn't the principal just walking down the down the hallway? Let's all be together. Now we know say your prayers. <laughs> you stumbled onto a man trembling with tears in her eyes. I closed in. Associating the situation with a similar, particular immoral one that made my pulse quickly just a little bit. Oh, 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 just mine just like mine. Stuck and Rico are both wiggling their fingers. Oh, Jesus Christ. I probably wanted to tickle Rina. Rina, wanting no part of what she knew about the headman, was stiff with fear. Punchy, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do mean things like everyone else, would you? Would you? I won. Wow. I think I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you know I was a jump. I'm going to take a point phone call. Anyway. I won. Now then, are you ready? Okay. So long as it's punchy cool. The face she made as she resigned herself to her fate made it my heart just gonna beat all. Oh, look at that adorable face. I, I believe that punchy won't do horrible things to me. My body will move. It had to be some sort of anti zombie mantra. The second my sense of the second my sense of reason chimed in, the beast inside of died is that was the bell. Game over. I knew. I knew this would happen. Ah. Yay! I did it. I did it. Damn it. Yay! Yay! Star. You know, pranced around merely as if the curse had been broken. <laughs> so daylight broke in the nick of time when evil zombie army disintegrated to dust. And so the heroine survived. Well, that's how it goes in movies, anyway. What are you postulating about? This is all because punchy song was dwelling about. Punishment is required. I was subdued by Satoko and Rika-chan, and once again sentenced to death by 100 tickles all. Oh. Eek! Forgive me! Eek! And the war for surviving goes to Rina Ryuku and Mian Sozaki. Yay! Huh? Rika-chan wasn't a zombie? Only pretend to be one. They say you need to deceive your allies before you can deceive your enemy, you know? Oh, me and you little. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and change, alright? Don't be late for the next class. Let go of me, Satoko. You get you. Having had my fill of being terrified to my very core of my club activities, I solemnly swore I would have me a crying for mercy next time. Ah, what a fun day around here. Is that cut off or is that just me? Why is it like that? Ah, well, we'll figure it out. Okay, well, that was one chapter, guys. Or at least a section, I think. Should we just continue a little for a little bit? Yeah, like two minutes. Nah, you know what? This is this start of a whole new thing, so we'll just end, end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it still. I, and tell me how you guys feel about the new look. I kind of like it. Um, it's a lot more like cutesy and um, I don't know. Like 
it's two different styles, so it's hard for me to explain, but I, I, I still like this one. Uh, but thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good night, because it's 9 o'clock where I am. And see you later. Bye-bye. Ow.